Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins and this channel's all about live loop and upload three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I wanted to show you how to loop an acoustic guitar. So if you can't tell, I've bought myself some brand new lighting. I think it looks quite good. You can see me, you can see the rig. I think it's got a bit of definition to it. Now let me know in the comment section down below if you're feeling this new lighting setup. We'll get there eventually where we nail it, but I'm just playing about with it at the moment. But continuing on from episode one of Loop Pedal Basics, where I showed you how to correctly set up your looper station and set all the correct input and output levels for the highest possible audio quality. We're now actually going to finally record our first ever loop. So you're going to need an acoustic guitar for today's lesson. If you don't want to use an acoustic guitar and you maybe want to use an electric, check out this video here where I show you how to correctly route the audio from your guitar amp into your looper pedal. But with that said, let's hop over to our RC300 and crack on with today's lesson. So we're ready to go. We've got the acoustic guitar plugged in and our loop pedal set up. Now the chords we're going to play are going to be dead simple. You don't need anything fancy, you don't need a capo, and you don't need to do any fancy tunings, but just in standard tuning. So we're going to play our chords in root position. So the first chord is an A minor. I'm sure you've all played these positions. Then we're going to do a G major. Now the difference with this G major is normally you would play a G major like this in the bar position. You might even play it like that. That sounds nice and we'll play that one later on. But we're going to take this bar position on the third fret and we're going to remove the third fret on the E string, which is obviously our G. And we're then going to play a D here on the B string. So we're just going to fret the third fret on the B string. And we're going to do that kind of inversion of a G major. We're then going to slide this exact shape down to an F. F major, but again, we're going to not play the bass note. And then once we've played our F, we're then going to play a G major like this. So this is all the chords together. A minor, G major, F major, and then a G major. Now there's two ways we can play this chord progression. You can either play it with a plectrum or you can play it with your fingers. Now playing it with your fingers will give it a bit more of a percussive and rhythmic feel. I would prefer doing it this way, but if you're not too proficient with your right hand technique with your fingers, I'd suggest a plectrum. Now this is how it'll sound with the fingers. like that, or with a plectrum, you can do it like this. Now the pattern I'm playing with the plectrum is as follows. It's down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. So if you want to play it with your fingers, we're going to primarily use our thumb and index finger. So with the thumb, we play the open A, and then we play whatever is fretted on the D string. Once we play those two bass notes, we're then going to do an upstroke with my index finger, like that. Once we've done the upstroke, we're then going to pluck with our thumb and index finger whatever we fretted on the A string and whatever's fretted on the B string. Like that. Just like that. So this is how it sounds together. And then slide up. And then strike the final chord. 
So it's now time to record this chord progression into our loop station. Now we're going to play the chord progression for four bars, so that's just one run through, and then obviously we'll click playback on our looper pedal. So I've got my loop station and I've got my guitar. We're going to put our foot ready on the record button, so as soon as we feel we are ready and in time, we can click record straight away. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to go one, two, three, four, record. And record. Now it's playing back. And we can join in with it if we want. Overdub it, maybe add in some down strokes. Etc. So there you go, we have successfully recorded our first ever loop with our acoustic guitar. I hope you're thoroughly enjoying this loop pedal basic series. If you are, please make sure you are subscribed and you've got notifications turned on so you do not miss any of the future episodes of this series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. My channel's all about live loop and upload live loop tutorials, live loop performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.